Damn, my neck. I feel like I'm fucking 96. What's good? It's your boy Dizzy B, and I'm back in this bitch. You feel me? So look, I was too lazy to go roll up another BZ. I just decided to start the next video. Like, just fuck it, start the next one. We ain't even gonna get up. We ain't gonna take no break. We just gonna go ahead and start the next one. I still got my buzz. You feel me? So. We still, we still off that shit, you feel me? So, I got one with some moon rocks rolled up with some pineapple experience moon rocks in that motherfucker, but that's, that's that bedtime shit, you feel me? That, that's that bedtime shit, we ain't gonna use that right now. You already know how I'm coming in this bitch. Everything is no script, off the rip. Go ahead, go roll you some macho zip, because I'm already high as a cliff in this bitch. <laughs> uh, that shit funny every single time. But nah, we ain't gonna waste no more time though. We gonna go ahead and keep this ball rolling, you feel me? So, go ahead, spark your BZ. I already smoked mine. I'm still off the shit, you know what I'm saying? So, go ahead, spark your BZ. Keep your... Go ahead, spark your BZ. Kick your feet up. <coughs> Make sure you got a beverage. This is all I got, because I ain't trying to go to the store right now. That's mad motherfucking work. And let's get comfortable. Don't mind the family guy in the background. Don't you don't need to be watching that. You need to be paying attention to me. This this is what the fuck you came to watch. Me. Not family guy. Don't worry about that. We just gonna cover that shit right now. The racist that he met at Leo's bar and Before we even get any further into the video, my bad about the captions. I don't have my headphones on and the volume is low so it don't pick up in my mic. I'm too lazy to go get up and get them. So y'all just gonna have to deal with it. I was interested in seeing what kind of response I would get by me going myself. I wanted to know how white people really felt. This evening, I'm having a drink at Leo's bar and Brian's bartending there and I'm gonna try to talk to someone how they feel about racism. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a pretty good bar. This is my, I'm visiting, so I'm just... Where are you visiting from? Georgia. Yeah, a lot of black people come to this bar. kind of get what she's saying you know what i'm saying because look i'm black i don't like fitting in I, I like being in my own lane you feel me so i sort of kind of feel that i don't know if the way i'm explaining it is the way she meant but if that's how she's coming off then okay i feel that but at the same time stop playing white people play a part of that shit too Just shut up at the same time Shut up. White culture. America is formed by white people. Right, right. So that's the way it is. Good or bad. Right. That's the way it is. So when people come here, they think that's where they should want to be. If not, go someplace else. I knew going into this place <coughs> that something may happen, but I, I think for the life of me, I wasn't expecting what I got out of it. Because I met the most ignorant person I've ever seen. You may know this, mm -hmm. but I'm like they're right here. Yeah. They're proud of being dumb. Oh. They're proud of not doing good at school. They go around and they just go, Doing good, like getting good grades and mm -hmm. 
it's that. Where does she live? I, I didn't I didn't catch where they was at, bro. Y'all let me know. Was that racist? Or no. Cause honestly, I'm leaning more towards bitch you racist. Not doing good in school and being proud of that. I don't know, not one black person that's not doing good in school and is proud of that, bro. I mean, shit, when I wasn't doing good in school, nigga, my mama got on my ass. I mean, no Xbox, no PlayStation, no phone, no TV. Couldn't go outside with the homies. Like, nigga, she, made, she would make my life hell if I was not doing good in school. School was the number one priority, bro. And that's what I'm teaching to my kids, so. If you don't do good in school, bro, like, you not gonna have shit. Like, your life will be hell in this house if you do not do good in school. Like, that's how my mama did it for me. And, yeah. Now, looking back at it type shit, I'm glad I grew up the way I did because the world now is fucking tweaking. The way kids is now, bro. <sighs> They got no respect for elders. They they just bad as hell. You want to smack the fuck out them? Like everybody quick to call CPS. Like just there ain't no kid. I'm pretty sure ain't no kid getting their ass whooped. Oh, every kid just need a good ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? Just show them you not playing. Show them what the fuck can happen. Like shit could get ugly in this bitch. And my mama did that plenty of times. Like come home with a bad report card. She'll come straight to my room, snatch the PlayStation, or it was really Xbox. She'll snatch my Xbox straight out the wall. Whatever cords came with it, came with it. If the TV fell with it, the TV fell with it. Like, you know why I did that? All this happened? Because you came home with a fucking C. It wasn't a B. It wasn't an A. It was a C. So you're not getting this game. You're not going outside. You're not doing shit. Like, and that shit, if I wanted my shit back, I had to do good. And that's what made me do better. Like, Nowadays, kids don't get that treatment. They could just fail, and you kids can get a report card full of Fs, wake up on Christmas, and get a PS5. Like, <laughs> be lucky if I wake up on Christmas. Like, the fuck? Kids got shit tweaking nowadays, for real. Like, I'm glad I grew up when I did, because this world is fucked now, bro. And my kid ain't gonna be part of that, I promise you. My daughter gonna know. Papa ain't playing, like. <laughs> But what if I wasn't talking to this man and I was just sitting here drinking my beer? Is that what he would have thought of me? Not oh, wait a second. That's a... Oh, sitting here drinking... That's a dude. That's a nigga. Oops. I thought that was a girl whole time. The Wurgles are not having the same racial experiences that me and Brian are. It's kind of hard to have white people understand what it's really like to be black, to experience racism. To me, putting on the makeup doesn't really give them the experience that they need to, because if so, then they would be getting it. And right now, they're not getting it. She ain't lying. She ain't lying. I said this way back, like, first episode. Like, they not gonna understand, bro. You're, you will never understand. No matter how much makeup you put on your face, you will never understand what it's like to be black. I'm going to a black church as a black woman, so I need to go shopping with Renee to find something to wear. Like this may be a little bit too much for that that particular church. Really? Yeah, what you would wear with it. I like this. I love that. Oh, here we go, Renee. Yeah, what do we think too. of that? Oh, that's a little bit too much. See, like this is a little bit more subtle for me. Although there's been some healing since the bitch incident, I don't really have a genuine affection or connection yet with Renee. There is an innate almost distrust. Bro, she don't have a genuine connection with her. You won't have, you ain't even gonna get that, bro. You must not, you must have forgot that you called her a bitch last episode what's wrong with her bro what is wrong with her <coughs> like you she must have forgot she called her a bitch 
and that she took it the wrong way, according to her. She took it the wrong way and overreacted. So from that point on, bro, there's not going to be a connection. Like, there's forever going to be tension between y'all because to her, you called her a bitch. And you think she's over, like, no, nope, nope. That bridge burned a long time ago. For her. Now, how much is this one? I'm a little silly looking at it. Is they so? Yeah. Now, this is cute. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think? I don't like it. <laughs> but if you like it, go. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Bitch, what's that? What the fuck is it? You trying to be Indian now? Yeah. Um, I don't like it either. You ain't gotta join the tribe now. Just because you you are failing to be black don't mean you need to jump into a Native American tribe. Like you just need to stay in your lane and just be the Karen that you are, hot, driving around in that minivan, taking your kids to the soccer game, going to get your groceries at the Walmart. And that's it. No more, no less. That's all you need to do. You don't need to be Native American. You don't need to be black. You don't need to look like you a knockoff Aunt Jemima. To Stay in your lane, bro. Because you're failing. Your husband's failing. Your daughter failed miserably twice, bro. Two times. Same mistake twice. Y'all all just failing. Like, y'all need to just go back to the little, the little home y'all live in. Cook yourself a little bit of cabbage and noodles. You know what I'm saying? And... That's it, cause this this whole black facade y'all got going on is it's not the wave. That shit is not the wave, not the wave at all. I'm teasing. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this is beautiful. But wouldn't that look neat? Well, I like that. We came to the shop that had doshikis, and I thought that would be beautiful. I could see Bruno and I both donning these and feeling comfortable. And almost regal. These four pieces. For, For the men. man? Yeah, pants, wow. shirts, yeah. grand boo boo, and hat. Grand boo boo? Yeah, that they call it. I mean, like, I, know, I got homies that wear that stuff, and I know the meaning behind it. You know what I'm saying? I don't wear that stuff personally, but I know the meaning behind the shikis, and I don't wear those. But I feel like if she put that shit on, she gonna look like one big ass curtain. Like, <laughs> She gonna, <laughs> uh, she gonna look like one big ass curtain. Bitch look like she belongs on that window right there. Stop playing. The whole idea of becoming black does for some reason give me permission to be more outrageous in ways. And I like that. I like stepping into that. What do you think? Nice. Why a white woman want to wear an African outfit? Why she want to do? Is she trying to make a statement? Or she Ooh, you look musty as hell. If you, you need to do something with that weave on your head. That shit look hideous. That shit look like it need washed in with some Dawn dish soap. Like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh musty ass bitch. She looked like um um um. Uh, what's that shit? What's that shit? What's that shit? Um, mm, the black version of that doll from the Rugrats. I'ma insert it right here. She looked just like that. Oh man, she need to do something with that. She looking rough. Rough. She's inquisitive about our race. Like we're just so. All right, come on, bro. How's the fraud hair look better than yours? Come on, son. You supposed to be showing out for the bitch. You out looking like nobody love you. You look like nobody love your black. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. I'm clowning on the wrong person. I'm supposed to be clowning on the white bitch, and I'm clowning on my peoples. But at the same time, it's fair game. If my peoples ain't doing something right, I gotta get on their ass too. You know what I'm saying? I can't just clown on, clown on the Karen because then at that point, that's just that's just racist. 
it's just really biased but I got a clown on on my folks too because she looking kind of out of pocket right <laughs> she looking out of pocket right now so I just had to let her know that bitch you looking out of pocket I think you need to brush that horse tail that you got on your head because that shit is looking real rough right now yeah I just had to let you know that because your, your mans ain't tell you so I think I had to tell you somebody had to tell you so I think I had to do it different like alien I mean it's like I really don't know if she's for real like that. Yeah, like you like that, that for both of us mm-hmm. okay like alright let's do that okay I was excited to wear these dashikis because they're just gorgeous and I felt proud and beautiful Wow, there's some neat shops. Maybe I'll come back down again with Rose. There is some neat shops. I have been wanting to put together a poem that speaks of my experience in this project, how it's been really kind of this shade of gray. The same way that they get up and offer me their truth, I finally gave them a piece of myself. Okay. Before we get any further in this video, right? I, I, I'm getting that feeling again. That she's about to fuck up for the third time. Somewhere in this episode, bro. She's going to do it again. She's going to go in front of these people. Real big bow. Old bow chest. Bird chest ass bitch. Going to walk up in front of these folks. And say something stupid. Say something real stupid as hell. And just fuck up for the third time. At that point, bro. You might as well go in there with the white skin color. And say that. Because then... It would it would make sense because right now you saying that shit, bro. They just they about to go inspect their gadget on your ass because they trying to figure out who the fuck is you for real. Cause mm, 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 mm. son ain't right. Son ain't right. We are going to the poem that you think that you're going to read, and then we're gonna um, discuss it and comment on it. We're all gonna. Okay, <laughs> okay. look, I did not know at all that they was going to really be reading the poem. I didn't know that was, like, the fucking next clip. I swear to God, I do not watch these before, I, like, I record. Look look how long this video is. 45 minutes? You think I'll sit here for 45 minutes and watch this shit before I re- No. Nope. No time for that. She about to do it again. Lord, help this snow bunny because she's about to do it again. She's about to make the same mistake for the third time. We're gonna do it again, just like the last video. If she do it again, we're done. D-O-N-E, done. If she do it again, bro, we're done. It's over, done. Mm -mm. Free, criticize, like, you know what, I think this, that, and then. Gonna give constructive criticism, and we'll also discuss your poems, and what they mean to you, and all that good stuff. So, let's get crack-a-lacking. Vivid cell lie. Who gave my father that title? Who was there for me when I was sick? Who was there for me when my mother applied for wickets? I ate that government cheese. Now you want to step to me and say, please. Check the name back in the Back up out my space. Tell me about to put you in your place. Don't step up to me and expect me to call you father. Don't you even bother. Where the you been all this time? Life is streets. That's why I start writing poetry. People are probably going to be stunned. And you're going to continue to have that blank silence your whole life. So just really understand that that means that you're brilliant. And I can tell that's coming from the heart. I can tell that this is all you. And every time you do this, it's always going to be flawless because it's all you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but they have never inflicted as much pain as words have had on me. One word in particular, a small, three-letter word, fag or faggot, whichever you prefer. Am I, I would wonder? Well, if by gay you mean, am I attracted to boys, then the answer is no. I've never been attracted to any boy or man. I would change all of me just to wash this ugliness off of me. This isn't me. This isn't what I wanted to grow up to be, honestly. I feel like at the beginning you held back. But I can say that like you could really kill that piece if you would just, you know, put you in that. To be yourself and be real to what you feel, and you're beautiful. You're 
words and everything is coming together. Okay, Rose, do your thumb thizzle. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God, y'all. Go prepare yourself. Go ahead, take a second. Hit your blunt real quick. Sip your sip, your sip. Drink your drink. Smoke your smoke. Because she's about to do it again. Y'all ready? Put your seatbelt on. Strap up. Because she's about to do it again. She's about to crash. So should I do instead of, let's see. Um, with matters of gray, there's, there's no one word. In fact, I can't even really speak about it. Don't get me wrong, because I talk all the time and I am a talker by nature. But when it comes to black and white, it all turns gray. I have struggled with this poem. The main point of this is actually my experience in this project, how it's been really kind of this shade of gray. And so I wrote a poem titled Matters of Gray, and it talks about how things aren't so black and white. I can only offer my ignorance. These are the words of a girl who has attempted listening to another side, hoping that the divide is slighter than expected and that I will be relieved by the growth of people. Well, if color means so much anyway, then why can't we get it straight? And that's one member. Lean up against the wall. Comments, comments. I just felt like, that's it? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't connect to anything. It right. just seemed like... Wait, before they share their thoughts, I, I, I forgot to pause it. I kind of zoned out because I was trying to figure out what the fuck she's talking about once again i get the concept of her poem you know what i'm saying but i didn't understand what she was saying like you feel me like only reason i understood what her poem was about was because she explained it you know what i'm saying like this whole tv show she explained it if i was in that room with, with them folks and she said all that extra shit I wouldn't have understood what she said. Just like she said, I didn't connect to what you said because I didn't understand a word you said. Like, I don't even know what your poem is about. Mm -mm, no, nothing. Everybody else before you that said a poem, you understood what they were saying. You uh, you felt their pain. You know what I'm saying? You heard what they had to say. You, it feel like you're reading a fucking thesaurus, my guy. Like, come on, bro. I think she's just helpless at this point. Like, you can't save her, bro. There's no saving this snow bunny. This snow bunny's done. Karen's done. Snow bunny's done. Adam Sandler's done. They're all done. Whole family done. They're all done. Wait, wait, wait. Now I just thought about something. What happened to the, the son on the black family side? Where the son at? I haven't seen him in a minute. Where my, where my man's at? Where my boy at, son? Play him in the video, like you bro. You were giving a speech. My man's the at? The performance I thought was oh. excellent. I think you Don't tell me. Don't tell me y'all got rid of my man's now. And the writing that you presented and the poetry that you presented has showed an amazing amount of talent and amount of range that was not depicted in that poem. Mm. So, and I think that's because you're not necessarily doing that poem for you. That poem, I don't feel, is all from you and what you want to say from you. I felt a little insecure, like... See? <laughs> Failed. You get an F because you have fucking failed you get what you was trying to say only because you told me what it was about if i was in that room i wanted to say what the fuck you was talking about dead ass where am i dead i wanted to say what the fuck you was talking about i feel like every time i watch these videos like by the time i get close to the end of recording i finish with a headache because like this shit be kind of mind-blowing like how do you even how do you even let's keep going though Am I not good enough because I'm white or am I not cool enough because I'm me? I think the deceit here is really presenting itself uncomfortably because it's not just dealing with race. Because they are such a group of honest individuals, the makeup itself is a lie. Honestly, what I'm trying to grapple with right now is if I would like to come back in that class and tell them the truth. Oh, yeah. 
searches on Twitter. We have to go and then when they got on dashiki. <laughs> what color is this dashiki? In there? Bright yellow and green? They're probably orange or something like that. What color? No, it's like a rust color and gold. Why don't they just uh, dress like Aunt Jemima on a syrup bottle? <laughs> Did I not say that? Did I not say that? Did I not say that? I swear to God I said that. No less. That's all you need to do. You don't need to be Native American. You don't need to be black. You don't need to look like you a knockoff Aunt Jemima. To she looked like Aunt Jemima, but... Bro, we think alike. I'm, I'm psychic. I'm psychic. Psychic. I do not watch these videos at all. Word to my dead homies. I do not watch these videos. We just we just think of like she's dressed like Aunt Jemima, the old old face ass <laughs> old Brillo pad head ass bitch. Bro, come on. Nah. I'm on point. I'm on point. Stop playing with me. I'm on point with that. What he gonna dress up as? He can dress like Uncle Ben. <laughs> Shit. You know, it's crazy. She wanted to. No, I want them to wear it because I want them to see how ridiculous they are because if that's their impression of black, then they are. That's garbage. Now, all the time I went to church, I've never seen one black person wear Hey, my Nobody boy! Hey, my boy! That's my boy. Boy, I was look. I just asked about him. I was like, "Where that nigga at? I haven't seen that nigga in a minute." There he is. What's good, my boy? Who know I'm coming to so retarded? I just think they took the guy shiki thing a little bit too far. It's my nigga, right there. That's I mean, my just, nigga. Right they be ignorant. They playing with, with them. Black people. Stop playing with them. What do y'all wear? I think he's my favorite one on the show. Yeah, a good Thank you for asking. Yeah. Do you think they wear? Traditional African garb. <laughs> I tell you. For this oh, trip. No. We, we gotta know that. But they're King so Bruno. they're so beautiful. <laughs> so King beautiful. Bruno. Yeah, you know, I can get into that. Yeah. Honey, take off your oh shirt if you're going to do it. No, it's just says, Oh my god. Wow. It's gorgeous on you. Oh, it's, it's awesome. See, didn't I tell you I was right? The colors look good on you. Wow. It does. It's beautiful. Magnificent. I must admit, that is wow. nice. Your mom thought it would be good, right? You said just what you wanted to wear. I said I wouldn't wear it, but you wanted to wear it. Oh, I thought you liked it. I mean, I like it. What in the fuck was that? Um, I mean, for the culture, yeah, it's beautiful. But on you, my nigga, you look like that carpet that Aladdin was riding on. Ooh, no, 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 not today. Nope, mm-mm. You don't get a pass. Busted. No. No. Bruh. You literally look like... What's that shit? Literally, the flying carpet? Magic carpet? School bus? I don't know what the fuck's called. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The carpet Aladdin was riding on literally looks like that. A spit out copy of that shit, bro. But you wanted to wear it. Oh, I thought you liked it. I mean, I like oh it, God. but it's not something I would wear. I would. Yeah, I like it. Man. Man, take, take that motherfucking carpet off. Personally, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> you wouldn't do it. Right. Because. I think that honestly, if, if you wear those, everybody gonna say, "Who the hell are these people coming yeah. in here?" But that that just necessarily might. Necessarily a bad thing. Well, at least take them tomorrow, then. Yeah. See what they say. They might. We'll take them. <sighs> take them. I'm getting a mixed message here. Why would she say the dashikis would work and then later say they wouldn't? I mean, are you trying to help me or not? How do you think we're doing? I didn't honestly didn't think you guys were getting it yet. I don't feel that you're getting the experiences that I go through on a daily. And that's the reason I okay. say that. We each brought to this table our own perceptions mm -hmm. based on who we are. That you and I had conflict probably had to happen. I'm sensitive. You have ideas, you know, uh, charges on certain words or on whites not understanding blacks or whatever it is. I have an ongoing paranoia that I'm going to say something politically incorrect. You know, I can't even... 
talk without being paranoid. And I was playing when I said, bitch, and it got, boom. I, I don't want to reenact that. I'm no. just, hang on. Oh, what? But you know what? We're not all that different. That's what right. I've been okay. saying from the beginning. Yeah, but that's kind of where I'm coming from. That's sort of my belief. And so, so far, that's kind of what I've been experiencing. Ryan has definitely experienced racism. I don't know if he's looking for it and he sort of assumes that in any situation where he's not getting what he feels is his due, it's because he's black. I think there's a part of that there. But uh, where do you go from that? It's like a checkmate. What do I say to that? Okay. Sometimes it's okay to play that card. I mean, fuck, I play that card. If you know me personally, you know I be playing that card. Because in the environment I'm in right now, that card is for real. But, like, not everybody races. Once again, like I said before in that different video, um, you gotta understand the difference between racism and ignorance. If you don't understand between the two, you're fucking dumb. As a black person, you have to understand the difference because somebody could be ignorant, saying shit, don't know what they're talking about. At that point, you can't really be mad at them. You could just blow it off, whatever, they're dumb. And then the person that is racist, shit, in my opinion, you can knock them in they shit. Go ahead, by any means. But the law, you can't do that. They gonna lock your ass up. But I think we gonna wrap it up right there for now. This shit's starting to give me a headache again. I ain't even gonna lie. I feel that shit right here in my temple. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for part two of episode two. I'll see y'all in part three. We're probably finished the episode on part three, for real, for real. But I'll catch y'all in the next one. Probably about to go smoke that BZ with the moon rocks in it. And you feel me? It's your boy Dizzy B. Shooting shit up like a show. Leaving the trap out, so I'm walking with felonies. Got about five months of stuff in my pants. I heard you a robber, you won't get a dollar from me. I ain't giving no nigga the chance. Only got brothers, I don't do the talking, I don't do the calling. You fun niggas friends. Christian Dio on my collar, my bitch got on Prada and Louis V coming from France. Money's the motive, I'm chasing this paper, I'm taking the check to my man's at the bank. Everyone doubting me, kept talking down on me. Honestly, I can care less what you think. Bitches be claiming they know me, but when I see bitches, my mind be drawing a blank. Last bitch who told me she loved me was capping. I knew that bitch lied straight to my face. Remember the